so welcome back to this channel IBMI classes and today I'm going to create this uh, video for a session on debugging the bad jobs in IBM I es Furnit system so I'm going to call a program in batch not interactively so work member PDM so I'm calling this case 12 program here so for that purpose I'll be using the submit job command take f4 here then call command take f4 here and then mention the program name case 12 so call pgm case 12 we are calling this program in batch batch now we will be mentioning the job name as ibm i class J. job description would be referred from the uh, my user profile so you can mention if uh, you want to uh, give the job D as per as as of as with you and uh, here I'm not going to mention job Q here so it will be referred from the job D's whichever is mentioned there either pointer or Q batch so here I am setting the priority or output queue nothing I will be setting here so just do the page down press F10 and, and we will be seeing this parameter uh, hold the job queue or this one hold so if I took a four here so here we have option uh, star one star yes so I'm holding the job queue from here only so if I go above and would see if any other parameter we need to set so nothing I don't want to set any other parameter right now so I'm just calling this program and holding the job queue so this job has been submitted to job queue IBM I class so job name is IBM I class J IBM I class this is the number and IBM I class is a user ID so the job queue is IBM I class so if I do work user job I can see that this job is on hold right now now what I do here I'll be doing the str SRV job start the service job take f4 now the job name is IBM I class J username is IBM I class and the job number is this 548114 press enter so the Start service job has been started. If I do a strdbg here and put the breakpoint case 12, So just wait. Ah. Now, if I would be, uh, for example, I would be trying to setting the breakpoint. I'm not allowed with that. So if you are trying to do that, don't do that because you are not allowed. Command is not allowed while service job is not active because that job is on hold. So we need to start that service job or we need to release that job. So just take F12 and come out. Now if you take F5 then you can see that this job is on hold take 2 then F10 and 
either you can change the job queue from here if that job goes into the uh, uh, that job queue IBM my class so I'm not going to change the job queue here so what I'll be doing just work user job so uh, after this step what I'm doing I'm going to release the job using uh, option 6 So now uh, we can see that the service job has been released from the job queue. Now press enter to start the job or F10 to enter debug commands for that job. So now from here if you press enter then the job will start and you won't be able to debug your source. So here you need to press F10. Just press F10. Now after F10. Uh, you will be seeing this command entry screen here you need to mention uh, DSP mod SRC command or you have to write this command and then press enter so you will be seeing that program which you tried to debug after STSRV job so here now you will be putting the breakpoint so I'll be putting the breakpoint at breakpoint at line number 4 for example not 4 Oh, that is not executable command so I'll be putting at the fifth break press enter so breakpoint added to line 5 just take F12 again F12 now the again that same screen start service job is appear before us now if you uh, now again now this time we don't need to press F10 so the first time when this screen appears we need to press F10 now we need to press enter and the job will start and you will be in debug mode now you can debug your job from here press F10 press F10 press F10 and this is the end of the job being service ended so you are now able to debug this job uh, that source in the bad job now since uh, your job is ended you have to first uh, end debug do the end debug of that source then after the end SRV job because the starting sequence is strsrv job then strdbg and the ending sequence is uh, strdbg and dbg first for the strdbg and then the end srv second for the or the last for the STSRV job so this is the whole process of uh, debugging a bad job so you can directly submit a job and put that on hold using that option hold job queue and then you can really uh, start the service job then debug STRDBG debug the program uh, and then uh, releasing that job or then putting the breakpoint using um, DSP mod SRC then end debug and end SR end STR SR end SRV job end SRV job so these are this this is the way or this is the process to debug a bad job or debug some programs in the bad jobs which you want so that's all thank you and have a nice time